Hello, and welcome to today's Quick Plays video on going from online to live poker. Whether you are looking to make a full-time switch to live poker games, or just looking to play live games from time to time, there are some notable changes between these two formats. In this video, I'm going to discuss some of the biggest things to be aware of to ensure your transition goes as smoothly as possible. Playing online poker is awesome. There are so many good things about playing online, not limited to the fact you don't need to wear pants and you can play a ton of hands per hour. And if you've been playing online for a while, then transitioning to live poker can be a bit challenging. So here are some of the biggest differences. First is the hands per hour. Online you're usually seeing 60 or more hands per hour per table. In live games you're averaging closer to 30 hands per hour. Online you have the option to play multiple tables, whereas you can't do that in live games. So even if you were only two tabling online and seeing 120 hands per hour, that's four times as many hands versus a live player. This creates quite a few differences, the biggest one being that it takes a huge chunk of time to gather a big sample size playing live poker. You would need to play 10 hours of live poker every single day for a year to surpass 100,000 hands, and there are online players that play more than 100,000 hands per month. Very related to the hands per hour difference is boredom. If you're bored playing online, you can just open up another table or start a YouTube video on your other monitor. Playing live poker, on the other hand, is inherently very boring for online players. There are so few hands happening, and card dead stints can last for hours. I'd actually say that boredom is the biggest issue by far for players making this transition. And even more so if you play multiple tables of 6 max online. Going from 500 plus hands per hour to 30 hands per hour of live full ring is tough. You just need to find something to keep your brain sharp, eyes open, and tilt levels low. Many online players bring their headphones and listen to music or watch videos during the session. This isn't an awful idea, but is it optimal? This brings us to another difference between live and online poker. Information. With the help of software like Poker Tracker 4, you can use a HUD on most sites. A HUD gives you real-time statistical information on the hands you've played with each opponent. You then use this information to estimate ranges and frequencies. There is no such tool in live poker, so you are 100% forced to use your own memory. Online players can also store their hand histories and review them later, along with tracking their wins, losses, and stats. Live players are forced to write down any hands they want to review later, and record keeping is left to pen and paper, or any number of poker apps that require you to input your data after each session. So earlier I asked if it was optimal to listen to music or glue your eyes to your device while playing live poker. Online you can do this and get your information automatically with your HUD. But in live poker, if you have your headphones on and distract yourself with your phone, you aren't collecting the information you may need for the times you are actually involved in a hand. Poker is a game of information, so gathering it is vital for your success. My goal when playing live is to turn information gathering into a game for myself, which in turn keeps my brain busy and minimizes my boredom. Another thing to be aware of in live games is what I call image management. This goes far beyond just giving tells away. Online, your only immediate image is your username and maybe a little picture. In live poker, players see your face, clothes, and the way you handle yourself physically. Be cognizant of the way you'll be perceived. If you are young, have your Beats headphones on, and wear a hoodie, everyone will know you played online. If you smile a lot and are quite social, people will be less intimidated by you, which can work in your favor. Going back to tells for a minute, this is a big difference that online and live players always debate. First, there is value in tells, so brushing up on what certain things mean can be helpful before playing live poker. Secondly, you do want to be aware of any tells you are giving off. Players newer to live always give away more information than they should. Hiding physical information is a skill that many online players didn't have to develop. So if you are new to live poker, heavily monitor yourself to ensure that you aren't giving too much away. A slightly related point to this would be how you handle chips. Online players just get to click buttons to make their actions, whereas live players need to physically push out chips. Get used to handling chips, estimating chip stacks from across the table, and figuring out pot sizes easily. Many rooms don't allow the dealer to announce the pot size, unless it's a pot limit game. So get used to keeping track of the pot size in your head, or estimating it well. My final note is on the level you play. Most card rooms offer 1-2 or 1-3 as the lowest game available. These levels do not translate the same way to online games. 
1-2 Online is a very tough game, whereas 1-2 Live is oftentimes very soft. I usually use the 10x scale when comparing online and live games, so 10x the online stake gives you a comparable live stake. 10x 50 no limit online would be 500 no limit, or 2-5 live, which is pretty fair. And 25 no limit online is very comparable to 1-2 live, although sometimes 1-2 live plays a little closer to 1 cent 2 cent online. This should get you started when it comes to making the transition from online to live poker. Remember, live games are much slower and you will need to work hard to fight the boredom. You will also need to exercise your brain to keep track of everything from stack sizes to information on each opponent. And a little image management can go a long way towards understanding how your opponents will approach you. Same as always, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to let me know. Otherwise, good luck and happy grinding.